Good morning to you. Thank you for taking some time to be here with us for uh, Preterist Power Hour. And just as a matter of introduction, I'm Mike Miano. I serve as the director here for the Power of Preterism Network. I also serve locally as the pastor here at the Blue Point Bible Church in Blue Point, New York, and an apologist through MGW Apologetics. Now, my goal this morning is to just introduce you to our Preterist Power Hour and uh, inform you about our February strategy sheet for the Power of Preterism Network and tell you how you might engage that a bit this morning. Um, let's go ahead and open in a word of prayer, and then I'll jump right in on sharing some resources, announcements, and more with you. Let's pray. Mighty God, we thank you. We praise you for the day you've put in front of us. Lord, we praise you for the opportunities we have to engage your truth, whether it's through networks, podcasts, programs, Bible studies, uh, and the like. Uh, Lord, you have made us rich, and we thank you for all that we have in you, Lord, and we ask that you receive all the glory through our time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, there's a lot to talk about. What I'd like to first share is just a little bit about what we do here with the Preterist Power Hour. So every month, the first Monday of the month and the last Friday of the month, we gather together on Zoom and we talk about resources, we talk about announcements, we give opportunity for, sh for fellowship, which could include uh, folks wanting to share a thought, maybe having a question, maybe having a concern, maybe simply needing prayer. So on the first Monday of the month, we join together at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, and that's through Zoom, through call-in, and we do, or we don't stream, I'm sorry, on Mondays through Facebook Live. So that's a backroom conversation. And then I go ahead and do videos like this, where I inform you of the things that were talked about, the announcements that were shared, and the resources that were provided. And then on the last Friday of the month, we have our Fellowship Friday, our Flashback Friday, where we do go live through Facebook. We also gather on Zoom and through call-in at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. And uh, we gather together to talk about the resources prayerfully, some of the resources and announcements that were on our strategy sheet you took, uh, you made use of. So that might include telling you about something we did or where we went uh, for one of the announcements or uh, commentary, questions, if you will, uh, from resources that we have been studying through. So we will have a strategy sheet for February uploaded later today that will be found at powerofpreterism.wordpress.com. And also throughout the month, we take the liberty to schedule interviews. And I usually try to give you a couple days heads up uh, if we're going to have some interviews and uh, talk with folks. Two interviews I might make mention of right here at the outset would be a couple of days ago for our Testimony Tuesday, we had Rosemary Endicott join us for an interview regarding her testimony in the faith and her coming to understand preterism. That is available on our YouTube page, the Power of Preterism Network on YouTube. And I'll be uploading some thoughts on our blog site from that interview as well. Rosemary had put together a great uh, study guide or uh, outline, if you will, regarding Matthew chapter 24. So I'll make that available to you soon. Also, I had a great interview with Dallas from Better Understanding the Bible, where I was afforded the opportunity to uh, explain why preterism, why for preterism. And I did so in a sort of three-point uh, three exposition. So I do encourage you to check that out. And we'll provide the link, of course, on our strategy sheet so you can have access to that. Uh, we had our recent Preterist Pastors Conference call, and that afforded us opportunity to pray together and to uh, talk about some things that are happening in local churches and sharing of announcements and resources, of course. And just last night, matter of fact, this is on the heels of our annual meeting where we gathered together and talked about our network, uh, namely the clarity, healing, and strategy that we endeavor to provide through the Power of Preterism Network. I do want to encourage you to engage our resources all the more. Uh, please, if you're watching this video, share the video. That, that helps out a lot. You never know the people that might be looking for some sort of resources regarding preterism, maybe have questions. The perfect place to be uh, to have questions and fellowship with others is with us on Monday morning, that first Monday of the month uh, at 1030 a.m. Eastern. Uh, it affords opportunity to get questions, uh, clarity regarding questions, to pray together, to fellowship with one another, and to be encouraged all the more. So let me go ahead and look up the rest of my announcements here. Oh, 
All right, so a couple different uh, resources available this month. Uh, Dr. William Bell uh, from All Things Fulfilled had a debate this past month. I know I had the privilege to look at it and review it. I encourage you to do so, and we'll probably have some great discussion. I know I'm personally in contact with Dr. Bell to talk about having him here on the Preterist Power Hour for an interview. So look forward to that in the next couple weeks, maybe a month or so, uh, and we'll double back to his debate. The link will be provided for the debate. I encourage you to check it out. A podcast I have to make mention of this morning would be uh, Jason D'Ambrosio. That's Pastor J. Jason or J. D'Ambrosio. On Facebook, it's Pastor J. D'Ambrosio. And just as a matter of spelling here, it's D-A-M-B-R-O-S-I-O. Pastor Jay does a podcast called The 1% Christian, and it's available on all digital platforms. That's Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes. You could also, of course, follow him on Facebook and watch the videos there. And uh, he's been going through Matthew chapter 24 and doing so in a great way. Of course, I encourage you to check out his podcast to find out more why he calls it The 1% Christian. And uh, you'll be blessed. And I think he's still actually going through Matthew chapter 24. So you'll find yourself blessed to tune into his program. Uh, Jonathan Buttrey, one of our directors here for the Power of Preterism Network, he was recently interviewed on Dallas's podcast. That's Dallas from Better Understanding the Bible on YouTube. Uh, he was recently interviewed as well. Uh, so I'll include the link to that. I haven't had the chance to check that interview out. However, if you're familiar with Jonathan Buttrey's ministry through the PBU churches, you know that it's always a blessing to hear from him, even in areas that we might disagree. So I encourage you to check that out. Uh, I've been talking quite a bit about uh, Larry Siegel taking up the pastorate there at the Church of Christ in Portland. And uh, he was in our pastor's session recently and blessed us with some discussion. Matter of fact, not only can you have his sermons available on YouTube, which I will provide a link for, he mentioned to us that he's going to be digitizing some old conferences and making them available. You think of some of the conferences in the 70s and 80s that we haven't necessarily been privy to. Uh, however, we will be soon. So praise God for that effort. Put some prayers behind Larry Siegel's efforts there at the Church of Christ in Portland, and of course his going ahead and making those resources available to us. Holger Neubauer actually is part had participated in a debate just yesterday in the Philippines, and uh, I know that some videos have been uploaded, and we'll do our very best to make them available soon. Maybe we'll have Holger here on the Preterist Power Hour in the next couple weeks to talk about his debate there in the Philippines. And he's been really make, doing a lot of great videos on Facebook. The cool thing about public Facebook pages is that you don't need Facebook to be able to review the resources on someone's Facebook page. So I'm going to provide a link to Holger's Facebook page. However, if you don't have Facebook, all you simply do is click on the link. There may uh, pop up a box that tries to get you to, you know, sign up for Facebook. Just sit, simply put, click X and X that out, and then you'll be able to scroll through Holger's videos on his Facebook page and bless yourself. I know he spent quite a bit of time in the prophets. Speaking of uh, Facebook pages and videos, Jim Murray, or Pastor Jim Murray, that is, from New Jersey, uh, recently joined us uh, for our Preterist Pastors Conference call and shared a bit about his ministry and his efforts. And him and his wife, Rita, have done some great videos on Facebook uh, as well, teaching through the truths of preterism. And I know he's working on a book uh, about uh, leaving religion. So you can look forward to that from Jim Murray. I'll make sure I provide the link to his Facebook page on our strategy sheet as well. And uh, some resources I'm looking to dig up would be uh, resources by Randall Otto and Arthur Melanson. It was actually Jim Murray that expressed that he's been digging in on their resources, and uh, he would encourage the rest of us to do so as well. Uh, doubling back to something I mentioned at the beginning, Dr. William Bell, uh, not only had he participated in a debate recently, but I've heard a lot of clamor, a lot of great things coming out of the studies that he holds. I believe he holds a couple different weekly studies, and uh, we're looking forward to connecting with him on that. So we might be able to make that information public and more people might be able to engage his studies. So look forward to that. And of course, put prayers behind not only William Bell's efforts, but also our connecting with him and having him live with us here for the Preterist Power Hour. Uh, another re resource that I'll make sure to include, uh, two last resources I'll bring up here, would be um, Adam Marshall, adammarshall.com. And uh, we've been studying through the book of Daniel for a couple months now here at the Blue Point Bible Church. And one of the main resources I've been using is Tim Martin, timmartinteaches.wordpress.com. Tim's actually gone about uploading his uh, 
his sermons to his YouTube channel, Covenant Creation, which is going to be the second resource I'll share with you. Um, AdamMarshoff.com, TimMartinTeaches.wordpress.com, and YouTube, Covenant Creation, have been some great resources, namely AdamMarshoff.com and TimMartinTeaches.wordpress.com in regards to the book of Daniel. And uh, we're in Daniel chapter 7. We gather on the last Thursdays of the month here on Zoom, on Facebook, etc. Uh, I think that's at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on the last Thursday of the month. And we're currently in Daniel chapter 7. And Adam Marshoff has some great thoughts regarding Daniel chapter 7 that have blessed me, have sent me into you know, studying not only the scriptures, but history that surrounds the scriptures. And I want to encourage you to do so as well. So I'll be sharing the link to his blog and uh, maybe even particularly the blog about Daniel chapter 7. And uh, I mentioned Tim Martin teaches that wordpress.com. You can follow along with Tim's Daniel sermon series, which we've been doing in our Bible study as well. And then I haven't had the chance to follow up with uh, Tim and his YouTube channel, Covenant Creation, but I know many have been blessed by it. And he's been breaking down the uh, presentations that he had given both in St. Louis last year and here at the Blue Point Bible Church. So look forward to that. Visit the YouTube channel. And I know we'll be talking with him a bit about some curriculum and resources in that regard. Uh, also, the Full Preterist book that I've recently published, Full Preterism, Proclaiming the Presence and Purpose of God. The audio book is going to be made available in the next couple weeks, so keep an eye out for that, and uh, that will be available at thepreteristbook.com. Those are the resources that we're looking at for this month. I think that's plenty to keep you busy, and uh, of course, our goal is to have you study through some of those things, or maybe some things that you already already have on your plate, and then gather with us on the last Friday of the month. I do want to remind you, we have quite a few interviews being planned, so you want to keep an eye out. The best way to keep an eye out for uh, our announcements is to follow our Facebook page, the Power of Preterism Network on Facebook. Go ahead, follow it, like it, share it, and uh, let's continue to show people the power of preterism with clarity, healing, and strategy. Amen. And lastly, I'll just share a couple of announcements with you. The month is already moving on by. Um, the Berean Bible Church in April is holding their annual conference. I know Zach Davis and Travis Drum are two of the speakers, and then they always have a great lineup, Bob Cruikshank Jr., Mike Sullivan, among others that will be presenting there. So April 26th through the 28th, 2024, if you want to be there, uh, bereanbiblechurch.org, and I trust you'll find yourself blessed and we'll engage the conference to the best of our ability as well, maybe doing post-conference interviews like we've done before, etc. And uh, we haven't seen too many announcements as of yet of things happening this year. Uh, the other, um, August is a busy month as we have two preterist conferences happening in the month of August in St. Louis at the beginning of the month. That's eight, uh, August 2nd through the 4th. That'll be with Pastor Steve Magua, Ask the Pastor. And uh, he's been making some great videos on Facebook and uh, TikTok and other places as well. Uh, so thank you for his effort and plan to be there. St. Louis, August 2nd through the 4th, you will find yourself blessed. And then there's the Arkansas Eschatology Conference that's happening in Arkansas, Jonesboro, Arkansas to be exact. And that's hosted by Zach Davis and Travis Drum. And that will be August 23rd through the 24th. The easiest way to get you signed up for that would be to encourage you to Google the Arkansas Eschatology Conference, and you'll be able to find all the information for hotels and uh, purchasing your ticket for that conference and more. And again, they have another great lineup of speakers. I know Gary DeMar will be one of the speakers there, among many others. And then here at the Blue Point Bible Church, we're still doing some planning for the year. Uh, we usually hold the month of October for our conference. We're praying about uh, focus. We're praying about direction, topics, etc., speakers. And uh, we'll be sharing more information in the next couple of weeks uh, publicly uh, in that regard. So that's pretty much the resources that will be provided. I want to encourage you to visit powerofpreterism.wordpress.com and uh, follow some of the resources, share the resources this month. Uh, maybe use the, hash, the hashtag if you're into that, Power of Preterism. Uh, please share our Facebook page, like our Facebook page. And then if you go over to the strategy sheet on our WordPress site, Maybe you can share that that whole strategy sheet with people, and uh, you know maybe find time.
time to go through some of the resources with your local church or your local group that you gather with, or even on inter on the internet, gather together with some for uh, some discussions on Zoom. There's so many ways that we could begin to uh, be blessed by the resources that are in front of us, and I want to encourage you to be doing that. So in closing, I just want to remind you of a verse that I brought up last night in our annual meeting, and that is in Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16, where we read, pay close attention to yourself and to the teaching. Persevere in these things, for as you do this, you will save both yourself and those who hear you. And in closing, what I want to highlight about that verse is the part where it says, pay attention to yourself and to the teaching. So in regards to paying attention to ourselves, I've talked about this quite a bit. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 1 tells us what we need to be possessing in and increasing in to be effective and fruitful in our use of the knowledge of God. So that's how you pay close attention to yourself. Now to the teaching is the way that the NASB words it. What does that mean? What is the teaching? The teaching is not your brand of uh, denominationalism. It's not your brand of uh, you know, certain doctrines, uh, eschatology, soteriology, um, go down the list, ecclesiology, etc. Um, that's not the teaching. The teaching is the gospel. And that's what unites us Christians, and that's what we need to be paying close attention to. What is our gospel? And uh, some of you that have followed my ministry lately know that I've talked a lot about Christian unity. And I firmly believe that in order to see the unity that we desire in the church, we have to get back to what is the teaching. We have to lay the foundation of what is the teaching, what is the, the base of the rest of our doctrines. And it's only when we find the base that we will be able to unite with others comfortably saying we can agree to disagree on the details. So I might encourage you to be thinking that through, pondering that. Ask yourself, are you paying close attention to the teaching or are you paying close attention to some aberrant, or not even aberrant, but other ideas that foster the teaching? Uh, you know, we need to get a good handle on that. And that's why many of you know I published the book, Proclaiming the Presence and Purpose of God, Full Preterism, Proclaiming the Presence and Purpose of God. Because that's what I believe. I believe that the gospel is the presence and purpose of God. And Full Preterism helps us better understand that uh, as eschatology was intended to do. So uh, just some thoughts to get you thinking this morning. I pray that this was beneficial to you. And if it was, please share and uh, look forward to our strategy sheet that will be uploaded later today. Thank you again. And let me close us in prayer before I send you off. Mighty God, we thank you. We praise you for uh, the short time that we've had this morning to share some resources, share some announcements. Uh, prayerfully, folks took some notes and are excited to engage the resources and the, the different events that are happening throughout this year. Uh, Lord, you've made us rich. You've given us everything pertaining to life and godliness. You've given us the spirit, Lord, that pushes us and pulls us and calls us to possession and increase in those things that glorify you. So remind us of that this morning. Let us lean in a bit further and increase this morning, Lord, as we desire to see you more fully in our lives, in our loved ones' lives, and ultimately in our communities and our nation. So, Lord, we praise you. We thank you. We do pray for those that are in need of healing. Uh, I think of Brother Charles. I think of uh, Holger and with Travel Mercies in the Philippines. And we just lift them up to you, Lord. We pray for all the different local assemblies that especially those that magnify this truth, Lord, the preterist truth, Lord, the power of preterism. And we ask that you continue to strengthen them and guide them. And uh, Lord, for all those that are here this morning listening, I thank you for their encouraging ear. I, I hope that this was an encouragement to them. And may we continue to seek clarity, healing, and strategy as we endeavor to show forth the power of preterism. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless. Go in peace. And remember Pella. Talk to you soon. Keep an eye out for those interviews that will be happening this month.